It's English time! Hi, I'm Teacher Mitch. Come and join me as we learn English the easy way. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to keep updated with my latest uploads. Please also share and hit the like button if you appreciate my videos. Thank you! Hi there! We are now on our second topic for the fourth quarter. Our target most essential learning competency is Give Technical and Operational Definitions. But maybe some of you would ask, why is there a need to study the technical and operational definition of words? Hindi ba pwedeng i-check na lang at magpapipaste from Google or Dictionary? Well, you will need the skills of defining words when you are writing a research paper. In fact, definition of terms is part of Chapter 1 of a research paper. Definition of terms is an alphabetical list of important terms, acronyms, or jargons used in the research study. Jargons are terminologies only understood by people in a certain group and are difficult for others to understand. Here are some examples of jargons or special words in a particular field. Medical jargons Idiopathic Tachycardia Business jargons Scalable Sweat equity Police jargons Code 11 Wolf pack Definition of terms is important because the important terms Acronyms and jargons are clarified and clearly defined for the readers of the paper. Possibly, your readers may stop reading your research paper or will get easily confused when they encounter unfamiliar words or unclear ideas. To avoid this, you need to hone your skills in giving the technical and operational definition in research. For example, when you use the word structure in your research, it may cause confusion to the readers because this word has several meanings. For its dictionary meaning, it is a manner by which something is built or organized. Whereas, in the field of engineering, structure means configuration of steel beams that serves as foundation to a building. While in the field of linguistics, Structure refers to the arrangement of words. Because of the confusion that this word may cause, mahalagang i-define mo ang term na ito sa definition of terms part ng research paper mo. You will define it as to how it was used in your study. Pero before ka mag-proceed sa pag-define ng term sa research study mo, it is important that you know the two types of definition the technical definition, and operational definition. Technical definition, or sometimes called as conceptual or theoretical definition, refers to the universal meaning of the term. It is the definition that comes from different reference materials such as dictionaries, encyclopedias, books, journals, and even websites. On the other hand, operational definition is how the term is applied or used in the research. Refers to a specific definition of a concept in a research study. For operational definition, it is the researcher who formulates the meaning of the term which is objectively anchored on the technical definition. Usually, the researchers use the phrase as used in this study when introducing an operational definition. Here are some guidelines in defining terms in a research paper. Number one, only terms, words, or phrases that have special or unique meanings in the study are defined. As mentioned, yung mga words lang or terms na may special or unique meanings ang i-include nyo sa definition of terms. So, 
there's no need to include words na alam naman nating familiar na ang lahat or majority ng mga tao. For example, there's no need to define the word student because we are already familiar with that term. Number two, what to define. Important words in the title, such as the variables. Technical terms used in the research paper. Words for treatments and measurement, such as data analysis terms and others. Number three, define terms technically, operationally, or both. Some researchers define words or terms using technical definition. Others use operational definition only, while others use a combination of both. Number four, if the terms are from dictionaries, books, encyclopedia, other publications, and even websites, or what we call as technical definition, you have to acknowledge or properly cite the source. Number five, if there are uncommon acronyms, include them, spell them out, and give the meaning. Number six, definitions should be short, clear, and unambiguous. Now, let's have some exercises. Can you identify which among the words listed below should be and should not be included in the definition of terms? The words are Distance education Radio-based instruction Student Instructional materials School Social media Let's see! So the terms that should be defined are Distance education Radio-based instruction instructional materials, and social media. While there's no need to define the words student and school because those are just simple terms. They are not complicated and most of us already know the meaning of those words. For the next activity, I want you to identify the terms that should be defined. Let's say this is the title of your research study. Overcoming Isolation and Distance Learning Building a Learning Community Through Time and Space The terms or words that should be part of your definition of terms are the following. Isolation Distance Learning Learning Community Time and Space Bakit kasama yung time and space? Because these terms are ambiguous. There must be a different meaning for these terms which are related to distance education. So, most probably, hindi ito yung literal na time sa orasan or space as in espasyo sa isang lugar. By defining terminologies, mas nagiging madali para sa readers na unawain ang content ng research mo. Now, I'll show you some samples. This is a sample definition of term section from an actual research paper. The researcher has an introductory line. The following terms are further defined either operationally or conceptually. Conceptually here means technical definition. Now, the words being defined are comprehension, comprehension level, and instructional leadership. Actually, there are more terms that follow, but these are just some words from the crop section. And don't forget, these words should be arranged alphabetically. Going back to the first terminology, comprehension was given a technical definition, and the source is Cambridge Dictionary 2019. Just like what I mentioned earlier, when using technical definition, kailangan i-acknowledge or i-cite yung source. Next word. Comprehension level is defined operationally. The definition given was based on how the word was used in the research. This definition was from the researcher. Now, 
For the term instructional leadership, it is also a technical definition because the source was mentioned. De Lima, 2008. Here is another sample. This time, this is the introductory line of the researcher. For the reader's clear understanding of the present study, the following terms were defined operationally. So here, it is very clear that the researcher used operational definition only to define the terms such as age and civil status. For the last example, the introductory line is, the key terms in the study are given the following operational definitions. The words defined are BIR ruling and business. Thanks for watching!